Uh, I will start with pronunciation. Uh, it will be hard for non-English speaker because it's mate. Uh, the name comes from uh, South America. And I will start with the history of the, this project. Uh, the latest release of Nyon Chu was in September of 2010. And the year later, uh, it came out uh, Nyon 3. And it was a completely different desktop environment. And not all users of Nyon 2 uh, like this desktop. Uh, so uh, in April, uh, Perberos, an Arc Linux user, uh, started a fork calling it um, MATE, and the first description of the project was uh, an active desktop <coughs> using traditional computing uh, metaphor. And also, if the, the project was uh, really a, an hack because it was based on a migrate script, uh, just replacing all known occurrences in the code with uh, MATE. So it was not so good code. But also, if this was not good, uh, the first distribution started to include MATE, uh, the distribution that were not happy with GNOME 3, uh, like Linux Mint or Salix, uh, started to release the, the MATE in their repositories and also MATE edition in their uh, in the DVD. Uh, this uh, uh, brought to a new community because it was a new project uh, and nobody from known was uh, uh, present in this community. Uh, so we started to prepare the website, wiki forum, uh, IRC channels, mailing list, and the development uh, is hosted on GitHub. Uh, Mm, you can ask uh, why MATE if there are um, so many alternatives uh, in GNOME 3, uh, the classic mode, uh, the flashback edition, uh, LXDE, XFCE. Uh, but uh, the reason is that all the alternatives are not uh, really like uh, GNOME 2. We wanted to keep uh, GNOME 2 uh, with all its features, with all its applications. Uh, so this is the main reason. Uh, classic mode uh, requires new hardware because it's based on 3D. And flashback mode is just the, the panel and the applets because the other applications are the same of new 3. And they have received a, a lot of uh, changes in the interface. And of course, uh, LXD and XFC are different desktops. They are. Uh, LXD now is switching to OQT and XFC is different desktop, a different file manager, different panels, uh, different philosophy. Uh, the past year we got the 1.6 uh, release. Uh, it's our idea of uh, new uh, 234. It was a missing release. Uh, we removed all obsolete text from MATE, like gconf, uh, bonobo, uh, and we replaced all this technology with the new libraries that now are in glib or in GTK. Uh, we started to add uh, systemd support to MATE, uh, because it was missing in new 2. Uh, we did a lot of bug fixes, we solved some bugs that they were present in new 2 from years. Uh, we, had, we added only small new features because our idea is to keep uh, the traditional desktop. So uh, we are addi adding tomato only small features. And we also added the new themes with GTK3 support to keep compatibility with the all applications that uh, distribution can provide. So, uh, we provide uh, themes that uh, support both GTK2 and GTK3 using the same graphic. Um, this release uh, is the result of eight months of development, uh, 1,800 uh, uh, 1, commits uh, by 39 people, and we have uh, also 
150 translators that are translating MATE uh, in Transifex. Uh, we use Transifex to manage translations. Uh, new features in 1.6 are the, the option to center new windows like uh, new tree. Uh, we added uh, new arguments to the panel, uh, like the uh, reset command argument to have the um, to bring the panel to the default configuration, and also an uh, argument to run the run dialog, uh, because uh, if user use uh, other window managers uh, in this way, they they can set the shortcut to open the run dialog. Um, we, had, we added the feature uh, to close the windows uh, with the middle click on the bottom bar. Um, we added new teams to, uh, to notification daemon. Uh, we added support for the employee specification to manage uh, multimedia keys. Uh, because uh, most of uh, media applications are using uh, employees or the new uh, debug specification. So, uh, supporting employees, uh, all media players now work with MATE. And we also uh, added sub support for Compits and MetaCity. Uh, the new window manager. Uh, so if users uh, change team in control center, uh, the team of compits of Meta City will be changed too if they are running. Uh, these are the new features in the file manager, Kaha. Uh, we are added the uh, Andorido feature before then new, added it in Nautilus 3. Uh, we restored the edit location button on the bar. It was removed in the latest uh, new release, to release. And we also added a button to show differences when the user try to replace uh, text files. Uh, this is a small overview of new teams of MATE 1.6. This is called Menta. Uh, we added also a standard uh, black team, black mate. And this is uh, Green Laguna. It's similar to Menta, but with the uh, darkest uh, bars. Uh, the 1.6 success uh, brought mate in almost all distributions, like Arc Linux, Debian, uh, Fedora, Mint, OpenSUSE, and so on. And uh, MATE is also packaged in non-Linux distributions like BSD and others. And the new community now has uh, about 90 people, uh, average on the first channel on IRC. We have uh, 10 contributors that uh, write code for MATE. And we have uh, a lot of members in the official forum, and also uh, 380 members on G, G Plus community. So it's not so not so big, but not so small community. Uh, the past year, we got a student uh, under Fedora umbrella for the Google Summer of Code. Uh, he worked on adding support for GTK3 on Mate. And we are receiving uh, to a lot of donations from users that are using MATE from small companies. Uh, for example, we got a, a dedicated server from a German company, Fiscolo, that is using MATE in their offices. And this is the main goal of the MATE project, is to keep the traditional desktop metaphor like uh, Nyong Shu. Uh, and we will continue to develop the, this desktop, uh, keeping it traditional with new small features. We will fix bugs. And we will support new libraries like Systemd and uh, Wayland, or the, all, all the new software that will be written in future. 
uh, the other goal is to be an alternative for lower end hardware because uh, not all hardware support uh, uh, in not all hardware support uh, the every desktop because to run Neon 3 uh, now you should have a powerful hardware uh, so we will always uh, keep compatibility with the uh, low lower end hardware such uh, as uh, Raspberry or ARM device and old computers and so on. Uh, we also created a package uh, called Mate University where we are holding uh, code examples to learn how to develop uh, extensions for Mate like uh, panel applets, uh, extension for the file manager, uh, plugins for the text editor or the image viewer, etc. Uh, also this project is hosted on GitHub. Uh, now I will talk about the future of MATE. Uh, first, uh, we will add support for GTK3 and Wayland. Uh, I am talking about support because it will be not a complete migration, but we will support GTK3. Uh, it means that uh, distribution maintainers can compile MATE with GTK2 or GTK3. It's, it will be their choice. They can choose also to uh, make available two versions of MATE with both <laughs> GTK versions. We will complete the support for systemd. Uh, I am always uh, talking about support uh, because uh, systemd will be not a dependency, but it will be always optional. We will keep uh, always uh, also console kit uh, because uh, not, not all distribution use systemd now. Uh, we will add also support for the new GStreamer release for account service, the new Bluetooth specifications. Uh, we will add a plugin system for the file manager because uh, the current system of extensions, uh, it means that you have to restart the, the file manager to enable new extensions. Uh, you, you can't disable the uh, extensions now. If you have uh, one extension installed, uh, you will have it activated every time. So, uh, adding a plugin system, uh, users will be able to enable or disable plugins at runtime. Uh, we will remove to uh, the latest useless forks, and we will use uh, known uh, equivalents because now we uh, started uh, also a collaboration with uh, the new developers. Uh, they realized that uh, now MATE is an alternative, so we, we are working together to, to remove uh, as much folks as possible and use new equivalents, like the Kyring daemon, uh, or libraries like GWeather or WNCK, uh, YEL tools for the documentation, um, some things of this list are already implemented in the unstable release of MATE, uh, like the removal of the forks or the uh, initial support for GTK3. Uh, there will be also some new features in 1.8, uh, like uh, window snapping in the window manager, uh, user with, we will be able with mouse to maximize wind off uh, on the left, on the right, or full screen. Uh, we will add support for EPUB format in the document viewer. We, we developed the new applets for the panel, like uh, command. It show the output of a command uh, in the panel or a new timer applet. Uh, we will improve the search mode in the file manager. Uh, we will fix the accessibility with uh, using uh, Orca from GNOME. And we will also implement a lot of small things that uh, users are asking us in our tracker. 
Uh, you can check the status of the roadmap in our wiki. Uh, we, are, we are also keeping alive the new main menu, that it was the default menu in OpenSUSE. Uh, the nice thing that I, is that uh, we are keeping it alive in the new infrastructure, because this menu was uh, left by new, and so we are developing it uh, under the new Git repository. And it will be the default menu in the next uh, open source release with, uh, with MATE to keep alive the full new uh, experience in open source. Uh, MATE, like I told before, is also packaged for uh, Raspberry. It runs very well. The Raspbian is the default distribution. Uh, it provides MATE uh, already on their repositories. LTSP, uh, the Linux Terminal Server Project, is also interested in MATE because uh, not all their hardware support new 3 GTK3. Uh, so uh, some developers from LTSP are helping us too. And you can check in this link the a small presentation of LTSP with MATE by a LTSP developer. Uh, recently, uh, MATE was included in Debian 2. Uh, this is interesting, it's the uh, graph of popcorn, the stats of Debian. Yeah, we are running out of time, so if someone has a quick question, maybe? Ah, I see questions. Let Thank you for your presentation. Okay. And if you have uh, some other question, you can uh, chat uh, with uh, Stefano just here outside.